Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of single fetal death in twin, twin pregnancies, also called vanishing twin syndrome and fetus paparitis. A vanishing twin, also known as twin resorption, is a fetus in the multigestational pregnancy that dies in utero and is then partially or completely reabsorbed. In some instances, the dead fetus, dead twin, is compressed into a flattened parchment-like state known as fetus paparitis. The duration of the pregnancy is 35 weeks and you can see the one fetus lying cardly lying close to the cervix is normal has cephalic presentation you can see the fetal cardiac activity now the fetal paparitis is a rare condition which describes a mummified fetus in the multiple gestation pregnancy in which one fetus dies and becomes flattened between the membrane of the other fetuses and uterine wall. But in this case the fetus, although the fetus has a reduced size, fetal and spalding sign in the fetal skull and thick turbid amniotic fluid. You can see the thick and turbid amniotic fluid of the deceased fetus. But this fetus lying close to the cervix is healthy. Fetal cardiac activity and blood flow is visible and it measures about 30 weeks, 35 weeks of gestation. This is a male fetus. You can see the genital organs. When a twin dies after the embryonic period of gestation, the water within the twin's tissues, the amniotic fluid and the placental tissue may be reabsorbed. But this occurs only in the first trimester. In the second and third trimester, this cannot happen as the fetus is quite large. This results in flattening of the deceased twin from the pressure of the surviving twins in the first trimester. And when the vanishing twin syndrome is seen. But in this case, you can see the fet second fetus has a thick and turbid amniotic fluid. You can see the fetal abdominal cavity. There is soft tissue edema also. This fetus is also male fetus. Now again you can see the, the fetus with the having fetal device, the skull bones, you can see the skull bones are fused into each other and this is a positive spalding sign. If a twin dies after in the second or third trimester, the remaining baby may be at an increased risk of intrauterine growth restriction IGR, and the mother may be at a risk of preterm labor infection or hemorrhaging. You can see the fetus 
with beetle denies showing the positive spalding sign. The most common symptoms of stale birth is when you stop feeling your baby moving and kicking. Other signs include cramps, pain, or bleeding from the vagina. There is a high chance of having a significant bleeding when a pregnancy in the second trimester delivers on its own at home. In the case of fetal device, the dead fetus that has been in the uterus for four weeks can cause changes in the body's clotting system. Again, you can see the fetal abdominal cavity, fetal with fetal demise. You can see the bed, legs and the genital organs. Again, the abdominal Abdomen of the fetus having ascites, mild ascites also. When you try a tony, the uterus doesn't contract as well as it should. This can cause heavy bleeding after you give birth. So you may be more likely to have this if you give birth to more than one child at a time. Twins, for example. No fetal movements, no blood flow and the spalding sign is positive, the amniotic fluid is thick and turbid, the blood flow is seen in the live fetus but not in the second fetus having fetal demise. Loss of one fetus in the first trimester doesn't appear to impair the development of surviving, surviving twins in the first trimester. However, however, fetal death occurring after mid-gestation, that is 17 week of gestation, may increase the risk of intrauterine growth retardation, preterm labor, preeclampsia, and perinatal mortality. Normally, the twins kick, touch, and play together in the womb, but in this case, with the one fetus having there is no blood flow seen. So for about 20 weeks onward, the growing twins will touch each other and move around the womb together. Developing babies sleep most of the time, but motion and sound can startle them awake. So a poke or kick acts as a wake-up call. But when the, both the fetuses are alive, this can happen. In this case, there is fetal demise of one fetus. You can see the placenta. The placenta is left lateral and it is slightly anteriorly attached and there is no blood flow seen in this fetus with the fetal demise. It is said that sublicide can also be seen in humans in the form of twins in the mother's womb. One twin may grow to an average weight while the other is underweight. This is the result of one twin taking more 
nutrient from the mother than the other twin. This type of killings sublicide is rare than other types of killings. So it is usually possible to find out if you are having twins through the dating ultrasound scan which happens at around 11 to 14 weeks of gestation. A person born with these uh, circumstances also called posthumous child or a posthumous born children. Most instances of these cases involve the birth of the child after the death of its father, but the term is also applied to infants delivering shortly after the death of the mother. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. Thanks.